everyone, welcome back to the most amazing channel on the internet. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate, and today I'm talking all about the top 10 scary McDonald's urban legends part 2. Yes, part 2. Now you guys loved part 1 so much that I'm giving you a second helping. But the real question is, would you like a side of fries with that? I don't know what I mean by that, I just thought it sounded like a spooky thing to say. Now before we jump into this video, I just want to ask you guys what your favourite thing to order from McDonald's is. I love a good breakfast muffin. Double egg, cheese, no bacon. Also yes to hash browns. In fact, give me two hash browns. Okay, maybe I should have eaten before I started hosting this video because I'm feeling very hungry. Also, while you're down there leaving food related comments, why don't you hit that thumbs up button? Also, if you guys want to connect with me on Instagram, my link is in the description box. Alright, we're doing this, part two. Oof. Coming in at number 10, we have the legend of the pink slime. You must have seen those pictures of horrifying looking pink slime being troughed in a factory. At first, people are like, oh, okay, cool, strawberry milkshake, a bit gross, but you know. However, reportedly, this goo is what forms the meat in chicken nuggets. Grim. The pink slime is said to be mechanical mechanically separated chicken smashed and processed through a sieve. It isn't just meat either. Reportedly the pink goo contains eyes, guts and other bits of offal. When this picture was circulated, a lot of people were thoroughly grossed out. Now McDonalds changed their ways in the early 2000s, no longer using mechanically separated meat and constantly refuting the pink slime allegations. However, with the scary image out there, it's one of those truth based urban legends that I don't think they'll ever shake off. Coming into number 9, we have the McGangbang. I'm sorry, what? What on earth is the McGangbang? A good question. To be honest, I think that the name of this urban legend is scarier than the actual legend itself. Either way, you may have heard people talking about McDonald's secret menu items. Sure. Fine, apparently they exist, I guess. One menu item that caught media attention is the alleged McGangbang. What a name, what a sandwich. The much discussed McGangbang is a combo of McChicken and a double cheeseburger. There have been videos of this mystery burger too. The sandwich became so entrenched in urban legends that 8 News even ran a segment on it. It turns out it's all a myth though. McDonald's has never formally admitted that they even have a secret menu. It seems that people have been just fusing their chicken and beef patties together to form their own sandwich. The 8 News segment is hilarious though, there's one lady who finds the name a disgrace. A disgrace! The name itself, it's like, oh my god, turns you off. Especially if people have morals. Coming in at number 8, we have the mystery drive through girl. This is a particularly good McDonald's creepypasta. The story goes that one day, a guy stopped at a McDonald's drive through and paid for a sausage breakfast burrito on his debit card. A young female employee rang it up and when she handed him his card back, he noticed it was really, really hot. He thought this was really weird, but the girl would move from the window. There were cars behind him beginning to beep and he didn't want to cause a fuss. He did a double whammy that day and ordered Taco Bell for lunch. When he handed his card over, the cashier recoiled as if it burnt them. Weird, he thought. It, again, he just carried on with his life. Later, he saw on the news that a Taco Bell worker in his area had a horrible accident and had fallen into a vat of boiling oil. He got deep fat fried, which is not ideal. He then watched the news segment and realised that it was the guy who had served him earlier that day. Really creepy. Then the guy went to Walmart to do some groceries. Now, he'd popped in the night before to buy a few bits for dinner, but that evening he wanted to do a full shop. When he arrived, there was a police cordon. A member of staff had been found hanged. Crazed paranoia was now running through his head and he decided to visit the gas station that he'd been to and used his card in on his way home the night before. When he got there, he went in and asked to speak to the cashier who'd been helping him the day before. A different worker said that they'd gone home sick later that night and they hadn't come in for their shift that day. The writer then said he knew it had something to do with the McDonald's girl and the debit card. He went back to McDonald's and asked for the girl, but the manager said that nobody fitting her description worked there or had ever worked. There. Coming in at number 7, McDonald's spike their food with drugs to make it addictive. Ah, uh, it's a classic story, isn't it? And to be honest, 15, 20 years ago, I wouldn't have put it past them. Some people swear that McDonald's spike their food with heroin to get people hooked, raising a whole nation or even a whole global nation to be dependent on their snacks. While this urban legend prevails, there is no proof that this is the case. There aren't any illegal chemicals used in McDonald's food. However, that being said, just because it isn't illegal doesn't mean it's great. 
sweets. McDonald's does purposely make its food addictive to the taste, and a whole bunch of chemicals deemed acceptable by the food safety agency have been shoehorned into their food. One reason you might feel so addicted to fries is because of the hydrolyzed milk compound that produces MSG. Now, MSG is seemingly a addictive substance, and it's used to enhance flavors and perpetuate food cravings. If you eat a bunch of McDonald's and find yourself wanting more, MSG might be the cause. Coming in at number six, we have the legend of the screaming sign. One McDonald's restaurant out there in the USA is said to be haunted by a very angry ghost. In fact, it isn't so much the restaurant as it is the sign outside the restaurant. Now, local law says it is the spirit of a disgruntled customer who was killed as they tried to walk through the drive-thru. Of course, one customer caught a short video of the sign screaming and screeching as it shows off the menu. To me, it's pretty scary. This was uploaded on November the 23rd, 2017 by Flobison. I'd actually be terrified if I was the one videoing this. If there are any ghost hunters watching, why don't you let me know what this sign is saying? What are they trying to contact? Coming in at number five, we have the legend of the Vermont Fry Cook. Urban legend has it that somewhere in Vermont in 1999, a fry cook walked into the middle of the restaurant and poured himself in scalding hot oil. He didn't even flinch when this happened, he just doused himself in it. The legend said that several of the customers started to laugh and roll around in the burning oil alongside of him and all were rushed to hospital and died. But one. There was only one survivor who was doused in oil, and that woman lost the ability to speak, so she couldn't tell her story. Weirdly, still, the manager of the restaurant claimed he didn't remember even hiring the fry cook and that he wasn't in any official paperwork. His name tag didn't even have a name on it, just several hashtags. Of course, on Googling the incident, nothing surfaces. However, it is claimed that the McDonald's PR team were involved in a strict cover up operation, burying the story. Coming into number four, we've got more deep fat fryer action. We've got a worker who falls into the fryer and becomes a human crisp. Many people will tell stories about a friend of a friend who knew someone who worked at McDonald's and they died by falling into the deep fat fryer and they were found the next day looking like a human chicken nugget. This is a popular urban legend and I can almost guarantee it's in a movie somewhere, probably like Final Destination. If it isn't, then you can have that one for free on me. Despite this being textbook scary McDonald legend, there is some truth to these stories. Health and safety is getting a lot better, but people have in the past been very serious injured by fast food chain fryers. In 2016 in Melbourne, a McDonald's worker made the news when she fell into a vat of 160 degrees Celsius oil. It seems that this restaurant's fryer drainage system was broken and that the oil was being drained into a huge bucket instead. Now the employee walked by this bucket, slipped and fell into it. Now the whole incident was caught on camera. The poor woman is seen screaming in pain and needing skin grafts on her arms and legs as a result of the accident. Sure, she might not have been turned into a human nugget, but the reality of this situation, the truth behind the urban legends, is horrifying. Coming into number three, we have secret beef. There was an urban legend going around for years and years that McDonald's were mislabeling some of their food as vegetarian, and in fact, they were made with beef extract. Well, you may find some of the urban legends on this list far fetched, but this was actually actually true. Why is this scary, Rebecca? Well, imagine being a vegetarian or a Hindu and thinking that you were eating something that coincided with your choices or your beliefs because the company tells you that actually that they are. Then you find out that they lied and you've been putting something in your body that you don't believe in. What else could McDonald's have lied about as well? In 2002, McDonald's Corporation agreed to donate $10 million to Hindus and other groups to settle a lawsuit in which they were found guilty of mislabeling fries and hash browns as vegetarian. They were found to contain beef, and since then McDonald's has corrected the glaring error and both menu items are meat free. Since 2002, they've also worked towards creating a more vegetarian friendly menu. But again, if they were lying for decades, for me, this just isn't okay. What else could they be lying about? Coming into number two, we have the legend of McDonald's starting the scary clown craze. A series of Japanese McDonald's commercials were accused of fostering the killer clown craze of 2016. In the commercials, Ronald McDonald is straight up acting like a super creep. He places a number of weird calls and then he is seen lurking outside a woman's home a la creepy clown style. In another commercial, he is hiding under a woman's bed without her knowing, and another shows his creepy clown gloved hand opening a locked door from the inside. Anyway, McDonald's were called out for perpetuating the clown issue, with many saying that they straight up started it. In a statement released to tackle the rumors, McDonald's said, McDonald's and franchisees in the local market 
pundits are mindful of the current climate around clown sightings in communities, and as such, they're being very thoughtful in respect to Ronald McDonald's participation in community events for the time being. So basically, after igniting the bonfire, Ronald was stepping back from the blaze to watch it burn. You're creepy, Ronald. You're creepy. Finally, coming into number one, we have one of the most popular McDonald's urban legends around. We have the classic human finger in the burger. Haven't we all heard the one about someone finding a human finger in their food? You know how the urban legend goes. A kid goes into McDonald's with their mum, they order a happy meal, but as well as getting a toy car or a plushie or whatever, they find some kind of human body part nestled amongst their food. In 2014, some news publications claimed that a five year old boy from Vermont discovered a human finger in his happy meal. The article in Empire News said that the boy's mother only discovered something was wrong when she found the finger in her son's mouth. The mother, Erica Silver, said he ate his nuggets and apple slices. When we got home, I noticed he was sucking on something. I thought at first it was an apple slice, but I screamed in horror when I pulled it out of his mouth to discover it was a finger. I'd know about this. Now the boy was taken to the emergency room and checked for illnesses. Where did the finger come from? Good question. Were people being chopped up and put into burgers? It's another classic urban legend. Now, according to the same article, the restaurant manager said that he literally checked all of the employees' hands and all of them still had their fingers. He believed that the restaurant wasn't the cause of the problem, either the finger came further up the industrial ladder or the family themselves planted it in their meal. A lot of people called this story a hoax, but with the rumour mill constantly churning, it seems like a familiar story. So guys, that was the Top 10 Scary McDonald's Urban Legends Part 2. Before I get out of here, I'm just going to read you a couple of comments from Part 1. Now, skinned locust horror stories wrote, Ronnie kills millions every year. We need to stop this psychopath before it's too late. Mate, I think you've been watching too many urban legends videos. I don't think he actually kills, but then again, maybe he does. Sprout Raps wrote, Favourite fast food restaurant is McDonald's. Favourite thing to order? Nuggets, fries, cola. And my McFlurry of choice is Cadbury. That's my full order. Good. Good. Abby Abs backed up one of the part one legends about the needles in the ball pool. She said, I can totally believe the needle in the ball pit. I used to work at an amusement park and they had a large kiddie area with a ball pit and we cleaned it out weekly and still found all kinds of crazy creepy stuff in there. When I had a kid a few years later, I would never let them play in the ball pit. I was outside and we would even get snakes in there occasionally. Oh my goodness, so there was that. Did you guys like this video? Are you going to be going back to McDonald's or do you think, you know what, they're just silly urban legends? Let me know in the comments section down below. For now, I'm your host. Rebecca Felgate, make sure you give this video a good thumbs up, share it with a friend, and stay subscribed for more most amazing lists. <laughs>